right, Michael's back, and uh, we know it's not rocket science to say this, but when the sun is out, even in April, even though it's not like a high, strong sun, it's so much different than like when the clouds come in because it cools off real yeah. quick in April when the sun is not out there. Yesterday was kind of like that. Like, outside, kids, no jacket. Quick, put on a sweatshirt. Take it off. Put it back on. Take it off because it was cloud sun, cloud sun. So, right. Yeah. And I think that today, unfortunately, we're going to start off with some sun, so it sets the mood. Nice to start the day, but then clouds are back later on this afternoon. Since we didn't have any clouds overnight, temperatures were able to drop down quite a bit. We've got a lot of spots that ended up in the 20s, and I expect temperatures to drop even another couple degrees before we see things turn around and the sun actually rises uh, here in Maine. Right now, 31 in Portland, 27 in Bar Harbor, 30 in Millinocket, 28 in Greenville. So still a bit of a split as to where some of the cooler spots are, but notice 24 in Freiburg, 25 in Sanford. And if we zoom out a bit here, that's the case across New England. 31 uh, in Albany, New York right now, 33 in Burlington, Vermont. And then heading into southern New England, temperatures are generally in the 40s. But this is relatively chilly for this time of year. Of course, we still expect frost for the next couple weeks across Maine at least the chance of frost. But again, we are running below normal uh, for the date, at least this far in April. Satellite and radar not showing much at all going on, and I don't really expect that to change much. See all these purples right here, and even some blues closer to Cincinnati? This is indicative of very high clouds. In other words, there's a storm off to our west, and these uh, clouds and showers will actually fade a little bit as they move in, but I do expect some sprinkles here later on this evening. The morning starts off pretty nice, though. Not much to complain about at all with a lot of sunshine. And by the time we get to about 10 o'clock, we start to see clouds thicken back up. High temperatures for most today will be near 50 degrees, so cooler than where we were yesterday, but and uh, still running below normal by about five degrees for this time of year. Notice some parts of New Hampshire will actually end up a little bit warmer. It's this onshore flow that we're going to be dealing with that keeps temperatures just a little bit chillier for us. Light showers begin to overspread western Maine around 6 p.m. this evening, making their way to central Maine by about 8 or 9 this evening. And we'll just see a couple more light showers overnight tonight. Still not expecting really any big impacts from these, and they should be pretty light. Now, tomorrow, we actually clear things out pretty nicely across central and southern Maine. But in the western mountains, we'll be dealing with... Uh, wind out of the northwest upslope flow, and that's going to keep the showers going uh, across the mountains and also keep some of the clouds around. But downwind of the mountains, while it's going to be breezy, I do expect things to be much nicer. Wind gusts tomorrow for most will be between about 25 and 35 miles an hour, pretty similar to what we dealt with yesterday. So certainly enough to feel it, but not really enough for damage or anything like that. I don't think we have to worry about power outages heading through the day tomorrow. By Saturday, we've got mostly sunny skies back in the forecast. We'll be watching this warm front to our west approach. It gets kind of hung up on Sunday, and I do think it's going to progress far enough to bring us at least some clouds and maybe a couple of showers on Sunday as we deal with that cool flow out of the northeast. And that front just gets stuck heading into Monday. So Monday looks cool and gray, and eventually this entire system rolls through on Tuesday, but as it does so, it stalls out. Seas today 3 to 5 feet east wind in the morning shifting to be out at the south in the afternoon. Wind gusts will also pick up a little bit uh, out of the south later on today. Seven day forecast inland. I think that tomorrow is still going to be a decent day. Saturday looks great though. Saturday is the pick of the week. Sunday, I'm not too optimistic that we get out of it without any showers, but it doesn't look like a washout by any means. However, by the time we get into the middle of next week, I don't love the way things are trending. Lee, this could be one of those stretches which we deal with every spring where it's like four or five days of just on and off showers. It's gray. It's chilly. Uh, I know your favorite type of weather. Yeah, gray and chilly. Wow. Sounds <laughs> so good as we approach May. So Best way to start off the month. <sighs>